Have you ever inherited a Linux device from someone else? Or maybe it's a test machine that you just haven't used in a while? Either way, your issue may be that you don't even know what the login name is. In just a few steps, we can see the listing of local users without even needing to log in first. To get started, we need to access the local console during the boot process. While your system is booting, press and hold your system's boot up hotkey, which is usually the shift key. Some systems will use a different key, such as escape or one of the function keys like F2. For today's example, we are using Linux Mint installed on a VirtualBox virtual machine. Once you have the right key pressed, we should get the grub boot menu that will show a few options. Our first option listed is the normal boot process that would take us into the system. We want to press the down arrow key and select the advanced options choice. Our next screen will list any of the current and previous versions of Linux kernel available on our system. Most Linux systems will keep a couple of previous kernel versions available in case something goes wrong during an update. That way you have something to fall back to. Here we can select our most current version because it's working okay but we want to select the recovery mode option. Once the Linux kernel loads, we will have a recovery mode menu. We then press the down arrow key and press enter to select the drop to root shell prompt option. We will be prompted to continue, so hit enter to confirm. At the command line prompt, type in cut dash D colon space dash F1 space forward slash etc forward slash passwd space then the pipe which is the vertical line space less the first part of this command will list out all the local users on the system and then we add the pipe or the vertical line and then the less command so that it will list out the result in a page by page format in case the list is too long to fit on one screen Otherwise, it will scroll all the users on the screen at once, and we may not be able to see the username that we're actually searching for. After pressing enter on this command, we will get the first page of users on your system. Most will be built-in accounts that you never even know about, but are used by various system processes. If you get to the last line on the screen to be a colon, the two dots stacked on each other, press the space bar to show the next page of results. If you have multiple pages, continue hitting spacebar to view all the users. Hopefully by now you're able to spot the user account that you are looking for. Once you have the account name, or at the bottom it says end highlighted, press the letter Q to exit the listing. So now with your username, you're ready to reboot and go ahead and log in.